Welcome to the Ruffle Daisy. Today I want to teach you how to make these would-be pumpkins that are Pottery Barn knockoffs and they are absolutely amazing. You're going to want some heavy gauge wire and 12 gauge wire is probably the best. You can get this in the jewelry section at your local craft store, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Walmart even probably sells them. My wire was a little bit heavier and it was a little bit harder to work with and bend but we made it work so just remember to get 12 gauge and that will work perfect. I had eight sections and they were all cut at 18 inches in length and then I put 15 wooden beads on each section and these are about um, 18 millimeter wooden beads. You can see now that I am dyeing some more just in some watered down acrylic paint because we're going to be creating a smaller pumpkin with those. Once you have all of these threaded onto your wire, you can see that I bent one end and twisted it all together and that is actually going to turn into the stem. You can see next I laid everything open and we are going to bend the wire pieces up and we're going to form the edges of our pumpkin. This part can be a little tricky and there is a slowed down version of this video on my website. You're going to bring each piece up and you're going to twist the wire with the previous one. That way, when you get them all together, they are just kind of all twisted together. You do see me using needle nose pliers. This wire was, like I said, a little bit thicker. Yours won't be, but the needle nose pliers are really gonna help you get the bottom tight. Basically, all you're wanting to do is get those wires all put together so that they are all combined and then you could see that I cut some as well. Now you can see the pumpkin coming together. And now I'm going to show you how to do it with actually pipe cleaners and we made a smaller version of this. For these I used the pipe cleaners at full length and then I did 10 beads. This one was not, not as sturdy because of the pipe cleaners but it still worked perfectly and it was super easy because the pipe cleaners twist together so much easier than the wire does. I covered up the pipe cleaners on the stem with just some twine and then I had these little round wooden pieces that we put inside and covered with moss. To support the bottom of the metal one and to keep any metal pieces from scratching I did put a wood piece on the bottom of that and then also another wood piece for the middle that we covered with moss you can see here that I am also doing the same thing with the stem like I did on the little one and we are covering it with twine you're just gonna wrap it around until you're comfortable with it and glue it as you are going Next, I just took some six inch wide burlap ribbon and made little strips, and I think I cut about five or six of them, and then we just made a cute little bow. We did the scrappy bow where we just crisscross on some twine and then tie it all together, and then you will see that I did dovetail the edges of my ribbon, and it really created a really, really cute farmhouse bow that we just hot glued right onto the top of this pumpkin. You guys, I am so obsessed with how these pumpkins turned out. They are absolutely adorable and literally something that you would pay lots of money for. With just a little bit of time and a little bit of supplies, you can have these pumpkins for yourself in your home to display every year. If you love this DIY and all things creative, please visit theruffledaisy.org where we have so much fun making a beautiful home on a budget. Thank you for watching today.